a to the 8 minus a squared all over a to the 4 minus a squared equal to 9. And we want to find a is what? Okay. Let's factorize in the numerator from a squared. It will be a squared times a to the 6. We use this power rule that a to the m times a to the n equal to a to the m plus 1. So, and we factor from a squared, a to the 8 is a to the 2 or a squared times a to the 6 minus 1. Here in the denominator, we factor from a squared, it will be a squared minus 1 equal to 9. Now, we cancel these two things. So, here um, we can let's simplify more or let's cross multiply first, or we multiply both sides by a squared minus 1. A6 minus 1 equal to 9 times a squared minus 1. Now, we have a famous identity that x cubed minus y cubed equal to x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. So, here, a6 by another rule in powers or power rule a to the n. n is, so we can say a to the 6 is a squared cubed minus 1 equal to 9 times a squared minus yes. Now, I want to use this here. It will be a squared minus 1 times a squared squared plus a squared times 1 plus 1 squared equal to 9 times a squared minus 1. We know a squared minus 1 cannot be 0 because it is in the denominator. So we divide both sides by a squared minus 1. Cancel these two things. A squared a squared is a to the 4 plus a squared plus 1 equal to 9. Now here, degree is 4, but because we have only a squared and a to the 4, I can say it is a squared squared plus a squared. We can also take 9 to left hand side 1 minus 9 will be negative 8 equal to 0. So here, if we consider a squared as b. So it will be b squared plus b minus 8 equal to, let's consider it as x. Prefer to say it's x. It will be x squared plus x minus 8 equal to 0. So let's solve it. x squared plus x minus 8 equal to 0. We're solving this. I want to use quadratic formula that if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. You should memorize all over 2a. So here, x will be negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, which is 2 times will be negative 1 plus minus 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times this 32 all over 2. So x equal negative 1 plus minus square root 33 all over 2. We have two answers here. You can check and satisfy the equation. But we should pay attention that the denominator shouldn't be 0. Uh -huh. We found x, so we should find a. A is what? A is plus minus square root of x, and we know x should be at least 0 because a is x is a squared. A is real number. So let's check this. So because x has to be positive or non-negative, the only possible case is negative 1 plus root 33 over, because it is a squared, and a will be plus minus square root of Negative 1 plus root 33 all over. So these two things are our answer, and we should we can check that it satisfies the main equation. And let me draw a line around that. Okay, so let me just check something. The denominator shouldn't be 0. Denominator is what a4, a4 minus a squared. Shouldn't be zero. If it is zero, then a squared, if you factor, will be a squared minus one equal to zero. 
then we can say a squared times a minus one times a plus one is zero. So these numbers are bad. So a cannot be zero plus minus one, and these answers are not zero and plus minus one. Okay. So okay. So if you have question, you can send a message to my WhatsApp number and. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Okay, thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.